I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Pastel Spirits because she made me the cutest DP that I could ask for. This is a fan art from her and I really love it. It's a it's a rendition of my original display picture and then she changed it into a chibi pastel form which is everything I love. So thank you so much. You can check both Jasmine's and Pastel's Instagram in my description box below. Today I'm going to be going over the two events but in two videos. So for this video it's going to be mine code. And mine code is a world debut event so that means that no other server has had it before. And it's a little confusing because if you press the question marks over here, nothing's going to pop up. I don't even know why that's an option. The rules over here kind of explain what's going to happen. kind of sucks because it doesn't really, but, but we'll just go through that real quick. So during the event, you can claim the basic code in the event shop. Let's do that together. So I got a basic code. I'll unlock it after. Complete stages and journey. So journey would be this one. Start journey right here. You can have a chance to find a medium code and an advanced code. The number two, you can only have four codes at one time. So surpassing the limit, you will not be able to gain more codes. I think that is just to prevent you from using a thousand stamina at one time and pressing like dun ten dun ten dun ten. It's kind of stupid, but I think it makes the game slower paced. But I could be totally wrong. And then three, after breaking the code, you may gain item or clothes rewards. You can only break one code at a time which is also very annoying number five the basic code will drop a random basic reward in the medium code it will have a chance to drop the basic rewards but it will also have a chance to drop the robot theme part in number seven you may drop random basic reward you can also have a chance to drop non-repetitive parts of the suit this suit which is the humanoid source code there's a chance to gain the whole suit directly so i don't know if this is a legend or a myth but if you can get the entire suit from an advanced code i'd actually shit my pants. And number eight was to use an accelerator. If we go to the shop over here, I'm pretty sure the keys are the accelerators. So this says that every accelerator will accelerate breaking for one hour. If the time is within one hour, it will be counted as an hour. Number 10 says you cannot claim close rewards twice. So that's kind of nice because after that whole Kitsune debacle where I had to spend 4,800 extra diamonds, I think I can appreciate this. But the, the problem with this one is that it rarely drops because I tried to play a few stages and I haven't gotten anything yet. I'm gonna tap to unlock. It takes one hour to unlock this one, which is fine. It contains an accelerator for sure, but it may drop the heart color wings. It may. Okay, let's try and unlock it. It takes one hour for you guys to unlock this, which is totally dumb to me because, yeah, that's so dumb. If you forget to play for a few hours, you might not have time to open all these boxes or all of the sets in order to get this. So that's why they force you to buy keys or accelerators. The only tip I have for you here is just to work on maiden chapters because maiden chapters are the ones where you're going to get the most bang for your buck, I guess. If you do three princess stages, that will be 18 stamina. And if you do three maiden stages, that will only be 12 stamina. So you save four stamina. There's also a drop rate too and stuff for princess, which is so annoying because it doesn't make sense for you to use princess right now, given that there's a stamina event. <sighs> okay, so I'm just going to do this really quick and I'll fast forward everything. So I finally reached 5-7 and I know that I needed to make I'm of Plover and I also needed to make Ambitious Dream. And one of the things I needed to make from Time of Plover is that, that I needed the black white style. So I'm just going to do done 10 and I'm going to see if I get any boxes from that. I think I just saw one. Medium code. I have a chance to get any of these robot parts. Oh my god, I can only unlock one of them at a time. For number 4, you can only break one code at one time. Dude, this is terrible. I understand what number 9 means now. So if you use an accelerator and let's say you have have an hour and 40 minutes left you need two accelerators to complete it so even though it's technically two hours that the accelerator can speed you up for the extra time of 40 minutes doesn't round down it always rounds up even if you have one hour and one minute left you have to use two accelerators because that still counts as two hours oh, i'm a little upset this is such a hard game to play how many days do we have for this it ends on august 10th yo that's nuts oh i don't really like that we barely have enough time i hope i can get a few of these items i don't know if you can get two drops at once so let me just summarize what happened. Right now, you can get boxes every time you complete a chapter. It doesn't actually really matter if you use a maiden or princess stage anymore since it takes so long to unlock a code. If you get a basic code, you're not going to get any parts of this outfit. And if you get medium code, you have a chance of getting one of the three little robots. Another thing is that you might think that this is useless because, oh, after I get the medium code three times, then I don't need it anymore. But the problem is that it may drop a robot part. It might take you like six medium boxes in order to gain all these little robots flying around her. And then the advanced code, I think it would take 12 hours to unlock. It will have a chance 
of breaking one of the clothes she has. Clothes would be literally what she's wearing. They said that sometimes you have a chance of getting the entire outfit from the advanced code. But imagine I get the code and it says 24 hours. I think I'm going to cry. I'm just going to continue on to try to get my fourth code because you can only get four codes at one time. I don't even think this is a stamina event. It uses stamina but not really. Oh, this is gonna be a long, long day. Oh, I got another one of these. I haven't had a chance to get an advanced code yet. I'm wondering if I buy a recharge, if they're gonna give me a higher chance of getting a code because it could just be something in the RNG where they increase your chances of getting an advanced box if you buy more. But that's just totally speculation and probably not true. Hopefully not true. But it still seems kind of like possible. But yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope you understood what I was saying. I could say it just one more time in case anybody missed it. Basically, there are four boxes that you can get at a time. And to unlock each box, they all have a specific time. The basic box is one hour. The medium box is eight hours, which is ridiculous. And then I don't know how much the advanced box. I personally think it's 12 hours, but if it's 24 hours, I'm just gonna cry. The purpose of getting the keys is that you can get a key from here. If you go to the shop and you end up buying keys, let's say 100 of these, then you can use the keys to unlock the boxes and let's say for your countdown you have 36 minutes left like i do i still need to use one full key to unlock it because i can't use a fraction of the key it will be kind of a waste because i could have saved that extra 30 minutes to unlock an eight hour clock another example would be you unlocked it and then you decided to buy keys you have six hours and 10 minutes left so although those 10 minutes should technically round down it will round back up so that it seems like it's seven hours instead of six hours so you need seven full keys to unlock what you would do would be wait 10 minutes and until it hits six and then you can just use six keys to unlock the box. In the basic box you get nothing from the humanoid source code set. For the medium box you don't get any parts of the suit you only get the three robots around her and from the advanced set you have chances to get parts of her outfit or even the entire outfit itself. The problem with this is that the medium box literally just may drop it. Just because I have three boxes right now doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to get all three robots. I'm probably only going to get one robot honestly. Like I think with my luck I'm just going to get one robot with three boxes. And I really hate this because I can't delete these boxes. And some people might say that a strategy would be just to keep using your basic boxes because you have a chance to get an accelerator. So if you get eight basic boxes, then you can unlock an extra medium box in the end. But you get one basic box every day for free, I think. I guess you might as well open it in order to get the acceleration thing because I guess you invest an hour to get an item of clothing. And then that hour you can get an accelerator which you can unlock the medium boxes for less. And I think that to use less keys, you have to first unlock it. And then you wait until it hits 7 hours. So you have to patiently wait an hour. And then you can use your 7 keys because right now it forces you to use 8 keys to open it. This is really tricky because they really are trying to force you to buy keys if you want this set. I personally won't buy the keys because everything is very iffy. You don't even have a chance, like a guaranteed chance to get all these boxes. And I don't want to waste time and money to just possibly get parts of the outfits or not even any outfit at all. You can only get four boxes at once. I don't think this is a stamina heavy event because by the time you wait for the boxes to come back, you have enough stamina to finish the stages and get like a new box. I hope this was helpful and if you liked my stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye!